Hey yogis, it's Amber from The Desert Daydreamer. Welcome to your 20 minute yoga for beginners class where we are going to be strengthening and lengthening. This is a really good class as the title suggests for beginners or for anyone who is just looking for a more gentle yoga flow. So if you are ready, grab your mat and some water and I will see you in just a moment. All right, so we are gonna begin in a cross-legged seated position at the back of our mats. Scoot your seat about a foot away from your legs and make um, kind of a triangle shape with your legs and your shins, flexing your feet to the best of your ability. Sit up straight and tall, place your hands on your knees, and let's take a moment to close our eyes. Inhale, exhale out. I'd like you to set an intention for this practice, to be gentle with yourself, to listen to your body, and to do your best to silence your ego, because your ego will tell you where you think you should be at, and your body will always tell you where you're actually at. And your body is really your best teacher. So let's seal that in with a clearing breath Inhale fully through your nose. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Opening your eyes. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, bring your right fingers down to your side. Reach your left arm up and then over to the right, taking a side stretch. You can stay on your fingertips, otherwise you can bring your whole hand on the floor and begin to bend your elbow. Inhale, brings you back up to center. Exhale, other side, stretching to the left. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, fold over your crossed legs, bringing your hand to your mat. And you can begin to walk your hands forward if you'd like, keeping both of your sit bones grounded here. Walking your hands now back towards your body Extend your legs out in front of you and swing your shins over to the right or the left. And let's make our way into our child's pose, bringing our knees to the sides of our mat, toes together. Sit your heels, your hips back towards your heels. Reach your hands to the top of your mat and bring your forehead down. With each exhale, do your best to let your hips fall closer to your heels. Enjoying this lovely stretch in your shoulders and your hips. Taking a couple more breaths here. Pressing into your hands, come up into a tabletop position with your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Tuck your toes and you'll see why we're doing this in just a moment. On your inhale, arch your back, spread your collarbones. Exhale, round your back, pressing down through your hands and the balls of your feet. Inhale to a flat back, Push your hips up and back into your downward facing dog. And let's keep a generous bend in our knees here for this first one. Couple breaths here, spread your fingers wide. And come back into that tabletop position. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, arch your back. Maybe looking up slightly. 
Exhale, round, stretching the muscles in your back. Inhale, flat back, and take it back into your downward facing dog. And you, you can begin to straighten out your legs here, maybe walking it out on the spot. Come back into that tabletop position one more time. Inhale, arch. Drop your belly. Exhale, round. Inhale to a flat back. This time walk your hands forward just a little bit and push back into your downward facing dog. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Your feet are about hips distance, gazing towards your thighs. And you really wanna think more about lifting your hips rather than just letting your sternum fall towards the mat. Again, option to bend your knees here. If you're finding that you're rounding a lot like this, then it really is better to keep that bend in your knees so that you're not missing out on all that length in your spine and in your side body. Holding here for one more breath. And let's bend our knees if you're not already and begin to walk your feet up to meet your hands. Keeping your feet about hips distance, bend your knees, grab onto your opposite elbows and let your torso and head hang heavy, maybe rocking from side to side or doing a little sway, ragdoll. Releasing your elbows and rolling up to standing for three, for two, and one. Awesome job. Keeping your hands by your side, your palms are facing forward. And we're going to take a round of Surya Namaskara A, which is a sun salutation, and it's one of my favorite ways to warm up. So go ahead and lift your toes off your mat and feel that engagement in your feet. Do your best to keep that engagement as you lower your toes back down to the mat. Engaging your quadriceps, finding a slight tuck in your tailbone. Draw your navel to your spine. Really press your palms forward. And feel like someone is pulling you up towards the ceiling with a string. Hold here for just a breath. On your next inhale, reach your arms up, bring your palms to touch. Exhale, forward fold, folding from your hips. Maybe grabbing onto your thighs, your shins, or even your ankles. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins, come to a flat back. Exhale, plant your hands down to your mat, step back into your plank position. Push the mat away from you, Shift forward so that your shoulders are forward of your wrists, lower down to your knees, and lower down halfway so that your shoulders are in line with your elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. Pull your shoulders away from your ears, press down through the tops of your feet. Take it back, downward facing dog. Good job. Take a couple breaths here. looking to the top of your mat, bend your knees, and once again, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to rise all the way up. Reach your hands up. Exhale, bring your hands down through heart center to your sides. Again, inhale, reach up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold, folding from your hips, not your lower back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into your plank position. 
draw your navel towards your spine, shift forward, lower down to your knees and take your Chaturanga Dandasana, lowering down halfway, upward facing dog, press down through the tops of your feet to lift your thighs, take it back, downward facing dog. bringing your feet together now and extend your right leg back behind you, keeping your hips square. So the top of your right foot should be facing your mat. Bend your knee, bring it into your chest as you round forward and step that foot up in between your hands. Bring your back knee down. You can untuck your toes and let's rise up into our low lunge, placing your hands on top of your thigh making sure that your hips are square here. So all that means is that your hip points are facing forward. Your front knee is stacked directly over your ankle. Hug your inner thighs together. With each inhale, find length in your spine. Each exhale, sinking forward with your hips just a little bit more. Now let's inhale our arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your right hand to your right hip and your left hand to the outside of your right knee, taking a gentle twist to the right, making sure that you're twisting from your navel so your hips are still square here, looking over to the right. Awesome job, you guys. Coming back to center now, reaching both arms up. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands down to your mat to frame your foot. Tuck your back toes and lift your back knee off of the ground. Stay here for a moment, find your core, find your balance. And when you're ready, reach your arms up into your high lunge. Keep your core engaged, you've got this. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands down to your mat, step your foot back into your plank position, shift forward, bring your knees down, take your Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog, take it back, downward facing dog. And we're going to go right into the other side, so bring your feet together, extend that left leg back behind you, hips are square. Bend your knee, bring it into your chest as you step forward in between your hands. Bring your back knee down, untuck your toes, and inhale, come on up into your low lunge, placing your hands on your left thigh. If you're struggling with the balance here, you can always walk your left foot out just a little bit. Pressing down through your front foot and the top of your back foot. Feeling that stretch all along your right hip flexor. A great stretch for anyone who sits for long periods of the day like myself. One more breath here. And let's reach both our arms up overhead. Inhale. Exhale, left hand to your left hip right hand to the outside of your left knee, taking that gentle twist to the left side. Awesome job, one more breath. And let's come back to center, reach both your arms up, inhale, exhale, bring your hands down to your mat, Tuck your back toes and lift your back knee off your mat. Take a moment here, engage your core, draw your navel towards your spine, knit your ribs together, and let's inhale our arms up into our high lunge. Bending into that front knee, making sure that it's not going past your ankle, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down to your mat, step back into your plank position. Shifting forward, 
lowering down to your knees and lower down halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, smile your collarbones open, take it back, downward facing dog. Beautiful job, you guys. Take a moment here, find your breath. Bringing your feet together again. Inhale your right leg back behind you. Bend your knee, step that foot up in between your hands. Spin your back heel down and line up your front heel to your back arch. So take a look at your feet real quick. And when you're ready, circle your arms up into your warrior two position. Bending deeply into that front knee making sure that it's not going over your ankle, energetically drawing your feet together. Arms are extended out in opposition. Inhale, exhale, reverse your warrior, bringing your left hand to your left thigh, right hand reaches high, look up. and back into that warrior two. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, right forearm comes to your right thigh, left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Keep bending into that right leg. One more breath. And come back into that warrior two. Straightening your front leg now, you're gonna bring your right toes to the left and your left toes to the right. So basically we're just coming into warrior two on the other side, taking a look at your feet really quick, lining up your left heel to your right arch, bending into that left knee. Finding your power, finding your strength here. Inhale, exhale, reverse your warrior. Reach your left hand up, finding length all along your left side. Back into your warrior two, inhale. Exhale, side angle, left forearm rests on your left thigh as your right hand reaches up. If you're struggling with the balance, you can always look down at your foot, or if you'd like to challenge your balance, look up towards your hand. Coming back into your warrior two. Straightening your left leg, bringing your left toes to the right and your right toes to the left, coming into your warrior two on the right side. One more time. Inhale, exhale, circle your hands down to frame your foot and step back into your plank position. You can take it on your knees this time or option to try it on your toes. Shifting forward, lowering down halfway or even less, more is not always better. Upward facing dog and take it back. Downward facing dog. Good job. Let's make our way down to our knees and sit yourself back, extending your legs out in front of you. Sit up straight and tall and bring your left foot to your right thigh. So you're in a half butterfly position. Flex your right foot. Inhale, reach your hands up overhead. Exhale, fold over that right leg.
Let's go ahead and release and take it right into the other side. Extend your left leg out, bring your right foot to your left thigh. Sit up straight and tall. Inhale, exhale, fold over your leg. Awesome job, releasing. Extend both legs out in front of you and scoot forward a little bit. Bring your hands out in front of you and begin to round through like someone is taking an ice cream scooper to your tummy. Round all the way down, one vertebrae at a time till you're all the way on your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug, you deserve it. Maybe a gentle rock side to side. Now extend your arms out to the side so you're making a T shape with your arms. Bring your legs up to a tabletop position and let both knees fall over to the right side. Taking a gentle twist. You can gaze up towards the ceiling, or if you'd like to deepen that twist a bit, go ahead and look over to your left hand. You can close your eyes here, just enjoying this twist. Slowly, mindfully coming back to center and letting both knees fall to the left. Doing your best to keep your shoulders grounded here. Coming back to center, using your core to bring your legs back. Hug your knees to your chest one more time. And then extend your arms down by your side and extend your legs out to the sides of your mat, allowing your feet to fall out to the sides, palms facing the ceiling. Go ahead and close your eyes taking your final posture, your Shavasana. Reminding yourself of the intention you set at the beginning of this practice and knowing that you are exactly where you're supposed to be and that wherever you are in your practice is something to be proud of. I would encourage you to stay here as long as you feel that it serves you. But if you need to close off your practice with me, then begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, inviting some movement into your body. Rolling over to the right or the left and pushing yourself up to a comfortable seated position with your legs crossed in front of you. Let's take our last few breaths together. Inhale, reaching up, fill your lungs. Exhale, let it go. 
one more time. Inhale, reach up. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Bring your hands to your heart and bow down to your hands in gratitude, thanking yourself for doing something amazing for your body. It was my honor to guide you. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I upload yoga classes and the occasional vlog and I would love to have you. Thanks again. Bye.